Okay, how was the race? Yeah, um, I'm actually living in Östersund since two months now. And I was hoping, yeah, this time I'm going on a home ground. But it was a completely different track. I was quite excited, like I was never skiing that track. And yeah, but I think um, since so I'm skiing uh, since December um, in B1, so with black glasses. And it's still really new for me. And so it's really good that actually today we made a race without force. So it's going to get up and so hopefully it will also work in the world championship and it's nice here. How was the feelings before the race? Um, yeah, I had uh, last winter huge problems with health condition. So I couldn't move anything beside the neck. And I was uh, real uh, sitting in a wheelchair. And actually uh, in New Year I got this condition back. And so it's um, since of the middle of December, the first uh, fast training. So yeah, it could be more us, I think. <laughs> and do you, do you enjoy being here in Östersund? Yeah, I totally love it. And so when I moved here, my mom was uh, really worried that I can make it alone. And I definitely always say when someone asks me, no, I definitely never go back home. <laughs> so you will stay here? Yeah, definitely. So sadly, I have to go back to work um, in uh, the spring, but in, all, in the summer I'm definitely back. Uh, why do you choose to live here in uh, Östersund? Well, actually Sebastian Mudin is also here and yeah, so we're good friends and we spoke much about it and um, Johannes was before uh, Sebastian's guide and I had huge problems uh, to find a guide and so Johannes say yeah if I not get a job um, I w I'll be your guide and I'm definitely not a mad person to hope that no one get a job but I was so happy that he had time for me <laughs> so thanks to Johannes and uh, to all these guys who support me here and to make it really nice here